Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Redstone IX here and welcome back to another command block tutorial video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do special frog light item commands in Minecraft. And what I mean by that is that these commands will like to give you some special overpowered items that let's just say requires you to have take a frog light and combine it with some order of item to make it. Now, before I go into more detail what those commands are to making this work, you know the drill, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that guys, let's begin today's video. Okay guys, so here are all the commands right here, so it's just like, a, I know it seems like a lot of commands and there's like, the total amount of commands in this video are like 30 because there's like one for each frog, like, but I'll explain why that is in just a few moments. And as always, I will leave a link in the description down below so you guys can copy and paste these commands into your world later on. Now, let us begin. So first off, as always, I'm going to demonstrate how this works. So I've got the three frog lights, the Verdian frog light, the Orchid frog light, and the Pearl, Pearl Ascent frog light, and also some nether stars. So I'm going to show you how you do it one by one. So how you get these items, and we're going to start with this frog light here. So. What you need to do is throw this frog light on the ground and then throw a nether star. So you're combining this with a nether star. And you get this special emerald right here, which is the super luck gem. And I need to turn on the commands into making this work. Actually, let me do that for all of them. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, anyway, for the super luck gem, you basically get Hero of the Village 5. Speed 2 and Jump Boost 3. So, you, so this is good for mobility and you get a permanent discount in all villager trades. And also there's one other thing I've added. So let me go into survival and just uh, teleport myself. And let's say like 60 blocks above where I am. And watch what happens. I take no fall damage because well I get a resistance boost. When I'm at a certain height, so that way I take no fall damage. So that's why I named it the Super Luck Jam. Okay, so that's for that frog light. Now we're gonna move on to this frog light. So you just need this type of frog light and a nether star. And you get this next item called the Blaze Soul. So this one over here, and you can have this anywhere in your inventory for both these items. You get Strength 3 and Resistance 3 for several seconds infinitely. And there's also one other thing I've added to this. Like, let me get myself a bunch of swords. And also some bows right here. So what I've also done with this one is that for basically any sword or bow that you have selected in your hotbar, pretty much automatically gets enchanted with fire aspect or flame so. so and this will work with any sword you enchant so giving you fire aspect so that giving you the idea that well you have the soul of a blaze because you blazes always set their enemies on fire and that sort of thing so when i summon a zombie you're set on fire just like that and also that added strength boost makes it easy to take out enemies as well Okay, now let's move on to the final frog light. Just need to combine this and another star, and we get the mining stone. Now this is a very helpful one, if you're in the caves. So this one gives you haste 3 and night vision. Perfect for when you're going mining into the big caves below, and even in the deep dark biome per se. And for this one, this also works with tools. Or at least a special thing I've added with tools. So I know this is all netherite, but it works the same thing with all of these. So watch this. So when you select a tool in your inventory, any one, you on they automatically get enchanted with efficiency 5 and fortune 3. Like, look at this. Instant OP enchantment just by selecting. Pretty much just because you have this in your inventory. So you can pretty much go crazy with the shovel like this.
Now that is very quick mining. Because you've got that efficiency and plus you've got the haste. And if you're mining ores, you would have that added fortune for like getting more from just one single ore. So you can be stacked on resources and that sort of thing very easily. Okay, so now that you've seen that, let's go over the commands into making this all work. So let me go back to creative and put all these away. So basically when you um take these items out of your inventory, the effects go away and such. And also I should quickly note here that you need to make sure that the redstone is exactly the way it is that I have it in this video, otherwise it will not work. So yeah. So we're going to first go over the commands into crafting those special items. So we're going to start with this frog right here. And they're all the same, basically. Okay, so for this first one, this detects if a certain frog light is on the ground. So here it goes. So it's execute at P, run, execute if entity at E, type equals item, and then we do mbt item, colon, id, colon, minecraft, colon, verdant, underscore, frog light, and then we do mbt equals ground, colon, 1b, and then you do distance equals 0, dot, dot, 3, and limit equals 1. And then you have a redstone comparator like so. So pretty much the idea is that when you, it's on the ground, this will turn on. And then you've got the exact same command over here except for the nether star. Like so. And you need to have the redstone like this. So the idea is that I'm trying to make it so that when both of these are on the ground and you're near them, they will both get deleted and be replaced by the special item. Like say you crafted it. So let me get the nether star again. So you have this and that. And this the idea is that this would actually turn off sorry, turn on this redstone turf, turn these two off. Which will turn into this item right here. Okay, so now this command over here it summons a certain enchanted item. So this first bit is mostly the same, except we do this. Execute at P, run execute as an E type equals item comma MBT nether star. So when the nether star is on the ground, it's gonna run this. At S if entity at S run summon Minecraft colon item, then you got the three squiggly lines, then item equals emerald named. Actually no, it's not named. It. So I basically enchant with infinity one, just so you can see that it's enchanted. And then this command over here, you need to have a repeater command block. So this first bit means when the enchanted emerald is on the ground, it's going to run this. Data merge entity at S, Minecraft colon tag equals display and name it to super logic. So this pretty much changes that enchanted item its name to super luck gem because apparently you could not like have summon in enchanted items with custom names so this is the like the next best thing and this command these two commands over here pretty much get rid of the frog lights when they hit the ground so so it's just kill at e type equals verdian underscore frog light comma and on ground colon one b and it only happens if it's on the ground same thing for the nether star right over here. And these and these commands over here are the exact same as the last one, except this is for the uh, the other frog like type right here. And same thing for this one over here. So most of these are exactly the same. The only difference is well the different enchanted item. Okay, now we can go over the command to, to activate those powers. And again, they're mostly the same. So this first command just simply gives you the potion effect. So it's when the emerald named super luck gem is in your inventory, it's going to run this. Effect give MP, Minecraft hero of the village, 5, and true for no particle effect. Same thing for speed and jump boost. And then this is the command over here that activates the resistance boost when you're a certain amount of 
blocks in the air, so... Again, same first bit as the last three. And then we're gonna do this. Execute as at R at S if block. Got the three squid lines here with negative seven in the Y axis. They do Minecraft colon air run effect give at S resistance six and true for no particle effect again for one second. Pretty standard stuff. And these these are the exact same except this for the enchanted item called Blaze Soul. Which gives you the fire resistance and strength. And now here are the commands into like auto enchanting the weapons. And same thing for that one over there. So again, this first bit is the same. When the special blaze powder named Blaze Soul is in your inventory, it's gonna run this. It runs enchant at P Minecraft colon fire underscore aspect two. Right here. Pretty standard stuff. And then same thing for uh, Flame, right over here. And again, this only works if you're holding the right weapon or tool for that specific enchantment, because it will not enchant like an axe with sharpness, because, well, you can't do that normally. And this is the exact same, except this is for the, the special raw gold called Mining Stone. Which gives you haste and night vision. And these commands are the exact same except we're going to enchant the tools with efficiency 5. And wood fortune 3 right here. And yeah, that is pretty much special frog light item commands in Minecraft. And that, my friends, is going to wrap up for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next week in the next one. Goodbye!